My name is Samia. I am a photographer from London. Um, I'm also a photography educator and I am um, teaching photography at Unicorn virtually. So um, we are all here today for something called a photography exhibition. Um, if you've never heard of the word exhibition, um, it's basically a show or a presentation of work. Usually you see this kind of work in a room and you can go to a museum or gallery. But because our course and our students are all across the United States, we do this virtually through Zoom. OK, and another special name for today is called a private view. So a private view is usually the launch or, of an exhibition or the first day of an exhibition. And you usually invite all the people that are very special to you and also people who are in the industry who might be interested in your work. So it's a very special celebratory session. So welcome. Um, feel free to um, keep your mics on mute. Um, we are going to take questions right at the end. So if you'd like to ask a question, you are welcome to do so. You can also type them as we go along. Um, and there will be a, a part of the day where I ask you to unmute your mics for me because um, in a real life exhibition, when we're in a room together, this is a real life exhibition, but when we are in a room together, we all clap once somebody has finished presenting. And because I would like all the students to have that real world experience, I will um, ask you to join me in that. OK, thank you so much. So I'll go ahead and share my screen and we can begin. So bear with me one second. Okay, so this is our exhibition website or the students exhibition website. Um, every new um, session, we have a surprise picture as the cover image. So the students will um, submit, you know, all their photos and then I usually surprise them by picking the most amazing photo of that session. Okay, so this time it is Victoria de la Garza's photo. She actually went to a fashion show and I'll let you tell, um, she will tell you more about it herself. Okay, because it's very exciting. So let's go into the website. You can um, go ahead and click enter site. So um, the link for this website will be dropped in the chat by Unicorn. So you guys can go ahead and click on it yourselves and have a look through. I will show you um, through the website a little bit. So when you click um, to enter the website, it will take you straight to the about page. So this session, we had um, all of these wonderful students. We had actually a, a full class this session. Um, the class is normally quite full. So if you would like to sign up, sign up are open and here is the link right here, okay? Um, and it's first come, first serve, okay? So let's tell you a little bit about the exhibition. So the title of the exhibit was um, also picked by Victoria and all the students submitted names and we all decided on our eyes. Uh, Victoria, would you like to say a little bit about why you chose that name, if that's okay with you? Yes, it's fine. So the reason why I chose this name because when you see a picture or you see like a movie, you think about, you think about what should I call this name? And it, and you have to and you have to think about it real real really carefully, and so the reason why I chose this name because when you see a picture you see your eyes like you're looking at you're looking at the picture. Exactly. So Thank you so I much. Know. Excellent, Victoria. Thank you so much for the explanation. Um, and the rest of the class are doing thumbs up as they agree. So. Um, I think it's such a fitting name that we see the world through their eyes. And that's really what you see when you look through their artist portfolios. OK, so the Welcome to Our Eyes Photography Spring 2020 show. Our Eyes is a group photography exhibition created by Ash, Cameron, Emily, Kelsey, Natalie, Oriana, Olivia and Victoria. Breaking geographical barriers, this week, work is a result of a six-week introduction to photography course hosted by the Unicorn Children's Foundation and created and delivered by Samia Creative. It is tailored to young people with diverse developmental and learning needs. Due to our course being, across, being based, based online, young people from across the USA have taken part and our teacher is based in London. Um, the course is a recurring course and it is open to all young people. So, this course is actually open to everybody. So if you have an internet connection and a device, you are welcome to join my course. 
um, it's everybody's welcome and I will tailor the material to your needs, okay? Um, obviously we do prioritize um, young people with diverse needs. So we encourage you to take a look around this website because what we are going to show you today is only scratching the surface of how much work the young people have in their portfolios. So I really do invite you to come back and look, look through it properly. Um, also, of course, this work um, is able to take place because of very kind donations from donors. So if you join us today and you are in a place to become a donor and you feel inspired to donate, then you can go ahead and click this link. Um, I will hand over to Shawnice in a second and she can tell you more about Unicorn. Um, but if you've never heard of Unicorn Children's Foundation, maybe you're from the UK like myself, um, this charity is 26 years old and they are the most compassionate team of people I have met thus far in my career. Um, they help to um, bring opportunities to young people, um, young people with diverse developmental and learning needs. So they break barriers. And this is really why I was also um, very happy to work with them because I too believe that all young people, no matter um, what diagnosis or what background you come from, I believe all people should have the same opportunities and equal opportunities. And I believe they should be able to thrive. So that's what we're here doing. So you can actually learn a lot more about them. Um, here are um, the links to their website, their email, and also it will really help us if you just take a moment and go ahead and follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, this is a way to support the charity without, if you are not in a place to support them in any other way, right? So um, we are still growing their business, their charity is growing, and so is my business. So also my um, social media handles are here, and just by hitting follow, it will give us um, that support that we really do need to grow. So I'd like to tell you about Kerry as well. Um, so Kerry Morse is the person who hired me. She's a programs and business development consultant. And everybody, all the students here love Miss Kerry. She's such a great teacher. She's so um, empathetic and she really worked hard in finding the, the great teachers that are part of the unicorn team that teach online and in person. Um, and I myself am a 30 year old Bangladeshi British photographer born and raised in London. Um, I have 17 years within the industry under my belt. I also um, have published writing and public speaking. So you can find a little bit more about me there, but all you need to know is that I really care about equal opportunities for all these young people. And that's why we're all here today. So um, with that said, I'd like to hand over to Shawnee who will tell you a little bit more about Unicorn. Shawnice, are you here? Yes. Hi, hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are. Um, I'm so excited and thrilled to see everyone who has logged in today. I am the new program coordinator for Unicorn Children's Foundation. And what I do is I get all the classes, I program and, um, you know, work with other individuals and other organizations to bring you classes such as this wonderful class so that everyone or individuals can be a part of all over the nation. Um, I'm thrilled to see so many of you logged in. We have our president, our CEO, um, Angela, Sharon, all of the individuals from across different states in the class. And I'm thrilled to be able to be here to show you their work that they have done this session in this photography class. Um, just a quick reminder, our programs are opened up for registration for May. So we're going to have a May session that's going to be four weeks. And then we're going to go into a summer session that's going to be eight weeks. Um, so we will be working with different uh, companies, new companies. We're going to have this great self-advocacy class along with the photography that we that's reoccurring. So we are encouraging you, or if you know anyone, to come sign up. Everyone is welcome, and there's a class for everyone. So um, our summer session is not open yet, but it will be open soon. We are working on that. But May registration is open, and classes start May 2nd. And I would like to thank everyone for supporting UCF. And I couldn't do it without you. We couldn't do it without you. And we love you. We need your support. And thank you for supporting us. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Shawnice. You're welcome. And yeah, that was amazing. Thank you so much. And also welcome. She is um, new. So everybody say welcome. <laughs> and we're so happy to have you here. That was a lovely introduction. So as Shawnee said, you can sign up for May classes. They will be four weeks this time round. And then after that, summer classes will open for eight weeks. OK, yes. so there is a link on the website. I'm just going to share my screen and continue to show you around the website. Um, a few more bits of information for you. So then we have so as you can see, this is the about page and you will notice that at the end of the website, there is a footer and it actually gives credit to all of the artists and their full names and they are copyrighted. OK, so this gives them their power. They own their images. This is a free website that I build. It's on Wix and um, each of their. So I'm going to show you um, if you click on artist portfolios, you can go ahead and see that they will have their own. Um, albums here okay so in photography we call an album a portfolio that is a formal word of a body of work or, or a collection of photos okay so you can go ahead and click into these so what's special about this website is that each of these young people they have their own unique url which means this can go on their resume as their professional portfolio and it's already built for them um, so they can go ahead and put it on their resume or when they're applying for jobs, they can just link it quickly. And it makes that bridge to work and a professional, the professional world a little bit easier. Um, I also wanted to quickly show you that there is a guestbook. So if you go ahead and click guestbook on the website, um, don't be deterred because there's only a contact page. What this means is you will go ahead and put in your message. So it'd be really nice for the young people to read your messages, your feedback on their work. That's what this event is pivotal for, um, especially if you are in the industry of photography, they would love to hear from you. So any feedback you have really pushes them and really gives them um, more um, professional experience. And then the all the messages get collected and they go on Unicorn's website, okay? So every time you comment or leave a review, everyone can go on here and read that um, great feedback. So with that said, it's now time to hear from our amazing young people. Um, I Victoria will present herself, but before she does, I just wanted to tell you about her business. So Victoria is special in that she runs a business with her mum. It is an, um, a jewellery business. So if you look at me for a second, you can see that I'm wearing a lot of bracelets on my wrist and they are all Ooh. purchased from Victoria's website. I really love to share her website. I love that um, she makes her, all her own products and this is her way of being independent, okay? So just quickly, I'd like you guys to either take a picture on your phone of these handles. So you've got Victoria's Facebook handle and Instagram handle and her jewelry website there. So she makes hats and jewelry and earrings and she's about to add other products as well. So it would be just such a great way to go ahead and support one of our young people. Um, I'll give you a second to do that, guys. <laughs> and with that, uh, you can always access this information, of course, by visiting our website that will be linked in the chat. And I'll now hand over to Victoria. She's going to tell you all about her work. So hello, everyone. So welcome to my presentation. And I and hello, my name is Victoria de la Garza, and I'm a photographer in Miss Sam's class. And today I'm going to show you all of my 10 photos that I've taken this semester. All right. So first picture I'm going to show you guys is a wildlife photography. And I took this picture of the flamingo at the Houston Zoo. And I got a good caption because I use my Canon camera to do this angle. And this is a portrait angle. So I had my camera sideways and I took this picture. Excellent. And another, this is another picture of a tiger that I shot at the Houston Zoo. And this was also taken on my Canon camera. And this is a landscape angle. And this is a longhorn that I that I took at the Houston Zoo. And I liked how I got this longhorn because I got it where it was sitting down and I got the trees and then I got the sun. So I got a good shot on this picture on my Canon camera. 
And this Excellent. is also a landscape angle. And then this is a, a close-up picture of a lion that I captured on my Canon camera. And I like how I got the close-up because the, I like how the lion was looking straight and I got, and I like how I captured it. And this is it. I got, this is a music photography that Miss Sam was teaching us. And we had to learn about the cover. So in Miss Sam, I wanted us to do our own our own cover of a music of a music area era that we liked and I got inspired by the Beatles because I'm a big fan of the Beatles and I told my family let's go let's go somewhere where the Beatles took their cover picture so this picture was taken in Galveston Texas and I got this and I found the I found the line where the Beatles were standing and I got my family to pose like they did. Awesome. And I had to direct them to how the Beatles were, were how the Beatles were standing and the, on their cover picture. Excellent. It's amazing, Victoria. Well done. Thank and you told you. us a lot about how you found it challenging, right? It you yes. was directing everyone and moving them around and making sure that you had to move out of the way for the traffic and then coming back. So there's a lot that goes into building these images, right? Yes, so you're doing great. Well done. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you. And this is a landscape. Oh, no, uh, landscape. Angle. Yeah. And this is uh, astronomy, astronomy photography that we also learned in Miss Sam's class. And I got this picture of my mom and I had to direct her where to sit and stand. So I had her model, model for me, and I had to wait for it to get dark because I was trying to get this picture for the dark time. So this is a landscape, uh, uh, oh, this is a hero angle that I got of my mom, of her sitting down and acting like she was taking a picture. And this was shot on my Canon camera. And this picture is astronomy photo of the stars. And I like how I got the stars because you can actually see the stars a little bit on the cat on my Canon camera. And you can see all the blue sky. And I really like how I captured this. And this it's is excellent. A, this is a portrait angle. And do you want to tell people about how hard it is to take astronomy photographs? Because it's yes, very hard, it, isn't it? It's yeah. very hard because you have to, you have to, you have to really see where the stars are at. And if y'all don't have any stars, then then you can just take a picture of like your parents, of them like acting like they're taking a picture of like a, a of the sky. So I found it really challenging, but I'm still practicing on my astronomy, my, my astronomy pictures. Excellent. And this is a picture at a fashion show. And this is also a fashion photography picture. And I went, me and my mom went to a fashion show in Houston, Texas. And it was really cool because I thought this picture was cool. So I took this shot on my Canon camera. And I really like how everybody's just doing their own thing. And I just captured it when everybody was walking in and just sitting down. I got up from my chair and then I had to see what angle, how to take this picture. And I just really liked this picture. It looks like a magazine photo, Victoria, or like a movie <laughs> movie scene. Yeah. So it's very good. Thank you. And I also put my name on the bottom. Just like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I captured this uh, fashion model at the, at, at the fashion show that night. And I had to be really fast because the models were coming out and I had to get my camera ready. So I got this, this model, this first model. And I liked how I captured this because you can see her walking and I like her garment that she was wearing. And you can see her clearly. Very good. And this is another fashion model that I took while she was coming down the runway in front of us. And that was it. And then you wanted to show what you And did. I also have my film photography pictures that I took on my camera. Do you want to tell me about that? 
Thank and you. Awesome. Can you hold it up to the screen more? And this is a picture at this is a picture that I took at an art wall in Houston, Texas, because we have lots of art. We have a lot of graffiti over here in Houston. And I took wow. this picture of, of Hugh. That stands Excellent. for Houston. And then here's a picture that I took of my mom and my dog. Awesome. Oh, I love it. Yeah. This was also at an art at an art place in Houston. And we have a lot of art, we have a lot of art over here in Houston, Texas. Excellent. I love the framing. Thank you. And here is another at the same place at the art wall where I took of the heart. It's an astronaut. It's an astronaut and it's doing a heart. Awesome. So how did you feel receiving your photos from the lab? I felt really cool because this, it was my first time learning about film photography and I like I, I really like pictures. Awesome. So guys, if you don't know, last yeah. exhibition, um, some of you kind, kind donors bought um, some cameras for our, our students and everybody had a film camera this season. So the reason why it was important for them to get some film photography experience is because the professional photography world still values film photography quite a lot. And I had to think of how we could make this accessible to our young people. So with your donations on the Amazon wish list, everybody received one this session and everybody is taking their own time. So I have set them no time limit because it is hard to learn film. So everybody's receiving their pictures um, through, you know, at different points in time. So every time someone else gets their camera film developed, we will show it at the exhibition that's um, that it's ready for. But I just wanted to take this point to say thank you to everybody who donated and it does mean a lot to our students. So it's great to hear that feedback from Victoria. Yes, um, and I want to thank everybody for donating those cameras to us. And it was oh. a really, it was a really good opportunity for us to learn about film photography. So thank you very uh, much. Guys. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you, Victoria. And with that, I do want to, um, I'm going to share my screen because Victoria doesn't know I'm going to do this. <laughs> I would like everyone to unmute their mic so we can all clap for Victoria. Congratulations, Victoria. Thank well you. done. Thank you, everybody. Oh, good job. Thank you. Yay. And before we finish your presentation, do you want to give everyone the exciting news about your fashion photography? Oh, yes. So I got in, so at the fashion show, I got uh, there was a lady next to me or next to my mom. And I, I told her that I'm a photographer and I really like fashion. So she invited me to take her, she invited me to take pictures at a fashion, at her fashion show in August. So me and my, oh my mom, God. Are gonna, just... me and my mom Yay. are going to take pictures at a fashion show. And the we're Victoria... so excited. Yes, it's so oh exciting. God. Yay. <laughs> uh, exciting. Thank you, Yay. Ashley. Yes, Ashley's Ashley, so excited as well. So this is amazing. <laughs> This is amazing. Victoria turned around and said, I'm a photographer. And the lady hired her to be the photographer at this fashion event. She will be, her and her mom will be the sole photographers at the event. So this is exactly what we want to come out, come out of this, um, of this program, really, because I want all of you guys to follow yeah. your dreams. And absolutely, but Victoria is doing that and you're all doing it. And yeah, I just love this news that she turns around and says she's a photographer. And you also told me something else, Victoria. You said that you were watching the photographers, right? Yes. Do you want to tell, tell everyone that? Yeah. So as, as I was watching as I, at the fashion show that night, I, I was really paying attention where the photographers were not just sitting down, but they were taking a lot of pictures. And I can tell that they weren't drinking, drinking no water yet because they were doing their jobs <laughs> until they got, until they got water. And yeah. I was paying attention to what angles they were taking. Excellent. This is amazing. So that's how you got up and you went down low, right? And you came out of your seat and you took those pictures. So you're doing great, guys. I'm so happy by what everyone is doing on this journey. And I can't wait to do more with you. So congratulations, Victoria. And now I would like to okay. invite our next student. Hello, Victoria. So up next, we have Emily. Emily. Um, so with Emily, I'm just going to show you that everyone mm -hmm. has their headshots. So this is Emily's self-portrait, which is really called very confident. 
And also everyone will have a little bio, a little bit about themselves. So Emily's from Omaha, Nebraska, and you can learn about her here. She loves pop art and she loves photography class, okay? So Emily, welcome. Would you like to talk us through your pictures? Yeah. This is your first image. Yeah. This is, I took this picture when I was visiting Florida, Brooklyn Raton. It's a colorful and fun parrot. Excellent. Excellent shot. And there's actually more down here as well in the, in the frame. Yeah. I love this turtle. I took this in Grumman Limbo in Florida. It's so cool. Excellent. And do you remember what assignment this was for? This it's is for, for uh, wildlife. Yes, we did wildlife photography in class. Oh, you have a really good story for this one. <laughs> I took this picture of a seahorse as a close-up shot. Seahorse are kind of small and hard to see. They kind of flash easily. Yes. So actually from your photo, Emily, I had completely forgotten the real size of seahorse because of how mm -hmm. close how up close you were able to take this shot. So that's a really professional thing that you did. And with your caption, you're telling us, you're reminding the audience that actually seahorse are tiny and it's actually very hard mm -hmm. to take a picture of a tiny thing that camouflages. So yeah. well done. It's so cool. I love everything about it. Thank you. When I took, no, I went to Savari Zoo in Florida. I was by the car window and I saw the ostrich walking by. I took the picture quickly. It was looking at me. <laughs> I love that. Um, I just wanna let everyone know that everybody writes their own captions. So these, this is again, another professional element to their work. Everybody learns to caption their images. And this is an amazing shot of a very large ostrich. I'm sure it was scary to get that shot. <laughs> I love flamingos. This picture is cool. I love the pink and the black. Excellent. And so when you were commenting on the colors, what was that that we've learned about in class? Do you remember the name for it? Hmm. It's certainly remember. wildlife. So. Yeah, it was wildlife and it was you were talking about color theory to me when you were writing yes. these. So another thing that we've been doing is learning about how colors work with one another and learning to comment on colors in photography. So great yeah. job, I love it. <laughs> this ostrich was pecking of a car windows and trying to walk in the streets. He didn't get our car window, but he was running to it. I was a tiny bit scared. I didn't know they could run to the car doors and windows. Amazing. So that was a very quick shot that you got of the ostrich when it was running after cars. Sounds a bit scary. <laughs> first I was up and down first and was thinking of it. <laughs> Here's your next image. Okay. We went outside to try to take a picture of this bunny. We see it was near our neighbor's backyard. I found it, I took a picture. Excellent. And what was this assignment? This was for? This is for a uh, wildlife. Yes, excellent. So you went out hunting for animals, didn't you, in your local area, which is what I ask yeah. everyone to do. <laughs> so great yeah. finding, the, finding the bunny rabbit. It's actually quite hard to get yeah. close to them because they hop yeah. away so fast. Yeah. Next picture. This is my car therapy fashion assignment. This is my mom and her mom, my grandma's mom, wearing orange pants and her mom's wearing a light pink. Excellent. And what did you like about this picture for color theory? <laughs> you like I love, I love this color. It's perfect yeah. combination. Really? Excellent. Yes, it is. <laughs> awesome. Well done. Mama was wearing a Stanford 49ers 
She was wearing red and white and black. I am wearing a Vikings jersey. This is my favorite number because of my birthday. And my last name is also on the back. I like the color theory fashion. So I went with a sports thing. Excellent. I love this shot because you also have the game in the background and you mm -hmm. took, you brought your own ideas, didn't you? So nobody else in the class yeah. was thinking of a sports theme, but you thought of a sports theme. So I love that. Mm -hmm. well, well done. Thank you. This is my food photography assignment. I use the blue plate with the blue card paper as the background is of apple pie and ice cream. Excellent. You're making me hungry. <laughs> so this is great attention to detail. Um, did you ever, have you ever used a, a paper for a background of a picture before? I was on YouTube be yes. creative. I was thinking yes. do a backdrop, really. Excellent. So use a paper. Excellent. So Emily learned from her own research that food photographers use different colored paper for background. And then you did this yourself. So congratulations. Yes. I love it. It's a fantastic image. And I love the yeah. angle too. It's like a bird's eye angle. Well done. Yes. And that was your last picture. So I'd like to mm -hmm. um, invite everyone to clap their hands for Emily. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of you, Emily. Well done. Yay, Emily. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Great, great, great job. Thank you. You're a fantastic Emily. member of our class. Thank and you. It's, you finished two sessions now, and we just absolutely love having you in our class. So congratulations and well done. Mm -hmm. Very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. So yeah. up next, can I please invite Kelsey? Kelsey, are you ready? Me. Hi. So as with everybody else, and um, this is Kelsey. Um, self-portrait she actually shot this portrait um, and you will find a little bit about her in her album as well so she's from Boca Raton Florida which is where Unicorn's head office is and she her best friend is Emily and she also <laughs> loves all her classmates in photography class so we love having you here Kelsey so your first mm -hmm. picture is this one go ahead oh yeah one live photo Grab a rhino with horns. I went to a safari in Florida and took this picture. The rhino has a family and a baby, and the baby has a mom. There is a whole pack of rhinos. Excellent. This is my favorite shot that you took. It's such a great picture of the whole of this rhino. Isn't it impressive, guys? Next up. Here's the baby and the mom and the big daddy rhino. He supports his wife and his baby. The baby is so cute. Some baby rhino does have little horns on it. Excellent. So I love to learn about the, the rhino family dynamic from your experience of photographing them. And you, here they are as a whole family. It's such a sweet photo. Well done. Mm -hmm. And here's your next image. This picture of zebras reminds me of Madagascar. It's a whole pack of zebras. They go to drink water and to swim. Excellent. What a cool image. It actually reminds me of like those Disney movies. Is it Madagascar where they do have, yeah. That's what you're saying, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Awesome. I love it. Great image. Next up. All right. This is a whole pack of deers laying down and chilling on grass. It was pretty scary to me to take this picture, but I was brave and took this picture. Well done. And I love how peaceful all the deer look. And there's so many of them in the distance. It's beautiful. Well done. Mm -hmm. I went to Gumalumo, a place with animals in Florida. 
I took this picture. The turtle is eating asparagus. That's his lunch. Excellent. So I love that you educate us about what they eat as well through your caption writing. Well done. Hmm. Astronomy. Uh, uh, what is that word? I forgot. Astronomy. 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 Photography. Saw the moon. And saw the weather conditions were clear in Florida. Yes. Isn't it a great picture, everyone? You can see the crescent moon and then the moon is so bright that you can actually make out. Yes. And mm -hmm. Kelsey was actually very, really good at um, submitting astronomy photographs. So the reason why astronomy photography is quite hard is because it's dark and you actually need mm -hmm. light to, to make photographs. But Kelsey um, always had the weather on her side, like she tells us. And also, it's great to include things like the environment. So the palm trees also tell a story about where she is in the world. So great photograph, Kelsey, well done. Mm -hmm. I do Miss Amazing. This is my commentary homework. I do Miss Amazing since in the beginning event. Since I used to live in Omaha, I love this pink and black beautiful dress. It has wires. My mom is wearing a striped white and black shirt. I was hosting the event at this point. Excellent. Well done. So that's a nice insight into your life and your achievements. But also <laughs> your eye, your eye is really trained. So you're able to pick out the color theory and the fashion there. So well mm -hmm. done. And you also look fantastic. Good job, girls. This was my color theory homework submission. It's a picture of my mom's parents, of my mom's parents, my grandma and grandpa. My grandpa was very weak. I couldn't go to Omaha for his funeral or, visit or visitation. My grandma, I mean, sorry, my grandpa was helping my grandma to go to heaven with him. Well done. Well done. And I'm very sorry to hear that, but Kelsey really wanted to share that with you guys. And I think mm -hmm. it's such a beautiful photograph as well. I love you, Grandma Grandpa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Kelsey. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you have your color theory homework with your friend, your best friend, Emily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to tell us about it? Oh yeah, sure. Sorry. <laughs> Color theory. I was holding Emily because I didn't want Emily to fall over. I'm wearing the pink shirt, and Emily's wearing a black and gray shirt, and the sunset is yellow, orange, and pink. It's a romantic picture. Excellent. Well done. And I love all the description of the colors and your mind is really um, turning there with the color theory in mind. So excellent. I love it. Mm -hmm. Then we did this one. Oh, yeah. This is my food photography assignment of my strawberry drink and my pizza walls. Excellent. And I love how the red connects everything. Do you see the drink has red and mm -hmm. blue? And then so does your plate. Excellent. That's my that dinner. Was, that was your last image. Congrat can yeah. I invite everyone to clap, please? Congratulations, Kelsey. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> that was a Thanks, really. great yeah. presentation, Kelsey. Well done. Good job. Great job. And up next. <laughs> we have the lovely Oriana. So again, you can click onto her um, album and it will give, her, there's a headshot of Oriana and um, a little bio or biography about Oriana. So Oriana has um, turned 28 now and she lives in Virginia and she has a lot of skills and she loves photography and used to do it in high school. So Oriana, when you're ready, let's begin. This is your first image. Look at how cool this is, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
here. Yeah. You ready? Yes. It was this morning. I think in yesterday morning. I think. No, it was was Monday. Monday. Excellent. And what's happening here? When my mom my mom told me to come outside and get a photo photo on photo. When the man outside was doing yard work. Excellent. This is what a, I saw. Well, it's an amazing shot, Oriana. I mean, this could be in National Geographic it magazine. It's the baby bird is chirping with its mouth open and there's two blue eggs. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is a fantastic picture. Well, unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't take off three of them because I was too tired. I've got two here. There's this one as well. Nice. And, uh, and um, let's see. And then the mother took them away because human hands. Because yesterday I was outside and, and the nest fell over. <gasps> Oh. Because of the wind. So oh, okay. I, I had to pick it up. And did you say they've gone now, the birds? They're not there anymore? Yeah, because my, found... my mom told me this morning there was a reason. Yes. They, yeah. put, put, uh, mm. they took her another tree, built another nest. Yes, exactly. So they, they, that's their survival instinct. The mother would have moved them on purpose. And they, but I didn't have a choice. Didn't have a choice because I had to pick them up. Well, it's an excellent shot and great timing. I will probably never see another one again. I've never seen that before either, Oriana. So that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about this one. Oh, yeah. When I was outside in the evening, the beach, because we always get sunsets in here. Nice. When, or when when there's a storm, many sometimes you get sunsets. Ah, uh, well, this is absolutely stunning. It looks like a painting. Look at the, all the colors. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it's like orange and pink and purple color. Yeah. Hi, hi, Angela, by the way. There's another one here. Welcome back, Angela. Oh, she's saying hi. Hello, uh, Angela. Thank you, Oriana. <laughs> thank you, Oriana. Oriana. Oh, oh, I am so proud of you guys. Amazing. <laughs> so tell us about this. You said, so what's pro mode, Oriana? What's pro <clears throat> mode? A pro mode is you have your S ISO. Your yes. Yes, you just had an exposure. Exposure? Yes. Very good. And what, what are those things? Yeah, focus, focus. Yes. Oh, you're looking at it now. Excellent. So Oriana actually uses a manual settings on her cell phone. Um, the cell phone she has allows her to use manual camera mode. What that means is um, she's taking professional images. It's what professional photographers use to um, create create pictures. She and the difference is that manual settings allow you to tell the camera what to do. So she very much um, creates her images in that way. And this is such a cool silhouette um, image of your sunset, Oriana. Well done. It's excellent. Thanks. And tell us about this one. This the fog in the morning. Yes, it's very good. And remember, oh, no. what it, it didn't rain, but it gave us a nasty. And remember oh, what you said to me about it. <laughs> yes, I think so, but I forgot now. It says it there. It says you, you told me that it gets, yeah, it gives you a creepy feeling. So, kind of like in Halloween movies, it's like a very eerie photograph. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever. If you ever watched the 1978, 1978, the fall, 
John Carpenter. I haven't seen that movie, but thank you. you watch it. Yes, I'll look it up. Thank you. And so tell us about this one, Oriana. Yeah. Remember the dog, me- the dog star, the dog. Yeah, that so was back just- in February. Nice, but why was it important to you to add to the album? Are you going to tell everyone? To, I wanted to compare it if it was close to AccuWeather website. Can oh, you tell? I see. It is. Yeah, I can see. So the image below is um, a website she's found of these stars. And then the image on top is one that she has shot herself. So Oriana is very into the weather and like astrophotography and wildlife and nature. So she avidly takes the top. Um, lightning. Yeah. Yes. You, you take really good lightning shots, but you're very good at taking <laughs> pictures of the night sky as well. So well done. Oh, Komodo dragon. It was a Komodo dragon, right? Am I yeah, that right? I think so. Yeah, very good. Look how close up you are. If, <laughs> if, if I say it incorrect, I will help you out. Don't worry. You're doing great. Come on. Can you go back? Oh, yeah, sure. Hold on a sec. Go ahead. He's a heavy one. Yeah. It was perfect. Virginia. Virginia Zoo in Norfolk. Oh, nice. Excellent. And you told me that he was so giant and looked heavy. Yes. Nice. Well done. I love the texture of his skin. He, he, looks, very, he looks very spiky, kind of. Any, or like any, rough. Feed, any feed, feedback quickly before we move on? We'll get feedback at the end, end Orion, if that's okay, because we have everyone else to get through. Um, don't worry though, there'll be time for feedback. So tell us about this one. Oh, yeah, that's a he's with lizard. Excellent. He's about like eight or ten. Amazing. I love that you went to visit somewhere to take this photo, and yet it also looks like it could be in the wild. So you guys are great at doing that. Well done. Oh, this is the one I took. By Sands Club. Nice. Uh, can you, can you, I need help. You, you've got can, it. Can, Canadian. You've got Canadian. it. Canadian. Yes. Yes. Well done. Excellent. And remember it's what not, everyone said the class loved the light in this photo. Are you talking about composition? The composition, exactly. Very good. I beautiful. remember now. Yeah. <laughs> it's spring, oh. by the way. Yes. Well done. Then we have this one. Oh, yeah. This is our dinner, dinner, food, food photography. Yes. Well done. The colors. You did color theory as well. Yeah. Presentation. Yeah. And Are you going to test? She, you actually cooked all of this as well for the assignment, yeah. right? Yeah. So you did very well. So Oriana completely cooked this from scratch. She thought of all the colors in the food and composed this image. So you did a great job, Oriana. Thanks. Good job, Oriana. <coughs> and then we have this one. Oh, yeah. I dressed. <laughs> I want to dress like Mickey. Yes, and what was it for? The fashion one, wasn't it? Fashion. Excellent. And Oriana has great attention to detail, so you will see that her whole outfit has been thought of, including the gloves and down to her shoes. So mm-hmm. that's how how much attention to detail Oriana has in my class. So amazing uh, effort. It's like a Christmas Mickey Mouse. And that was your last <laughs> image, Oriana. Yes. Congratulations. Please, can we all clap for Oriana? Yeah. Woo! Oriana, good job. Well done. Good job. Great good job. Oriana. I'm very proud of you. Well done. It's a cool, cool, cool. Eh? Okay. Yeah, it's really cool. You're like Mickey. 
to for the with the image. Mm -hmm. Okay, Agreed. guys. Up next, we have um the very special ash. Um, the so ash is a little bit under the weather today, I so feel free. I sound like really badly, but well, that's she okay. Is, um, She's she can... really infected, but I'm sorry. But I want to thank Talia, John, Marco, oh. Alexandra, and Ben that they're coming to my exhibition. Thank you. Oh, oh and I love you, God. Love you all so much. Oh, okay, Guys, thank you, Ash. Really like, thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, sure your friends are very happy to hear that, Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so, well, um, well the whole, whole of Unicorn loves to have you involved yes. in everything that we do, so thank you. <laughs> okay, do you want to tell us about your first exciting sure. picture? It's, this is the wildlife, deer, wildlife uh, picture. There was deer Excellent. in my backyard, and I had to see them. They're out close, not like outside my window, like like at the sun door, but we're, we're at the window, but they're right here. Excellent. Here, that's it. And yes. So it's a yeah. great photo, Ash. Yeah, I like it too. So Ash can't always go outside, so she's very attentive to what's outside her window. So it takes a lot of <laughs> watching out the window and, and being um, on top of things. And she caught these amazing deer that came into her yard. So th such a special picture, Ash, thank you. And then we, you did another one as well. So if you look closely, do you remember this one, Ash? Oh, There's I like the same Chris too, because I forgot. Also, <laughs> he, he can't be here today, he has to work. Oh, I'm sure me. they can watch it back. Yeah. So you yeah, took another me. wildlife picture here, didn't yeah. you? From your yeah. from your There's window. Just, like, red bird, and I took a picture of it. So cool. excellent. Yeah, I like it. And this is very iconic to me because it's very cool. There's this <laughs> like you know, Simia really inspired me to do like music with our beat, and oh. I put it out. Girls, because very iconic. It, my yeah. parents love big girls. I love big girls too. I like the movie Big Girls too. And oh. I had the the album right in front of me, and it was just so cool. And I loved it. And came from like in my room, like over there, like right yeah. the other side. It comes from there. My mom has a bunch of like records, and I found it. So it's really excellent. Special. And then you had another one as well. That's well, it's very much about Jesus, I guess. All the music about him or him before it's crucified and like a way about Jesus. And the music's so much fun. Excellent. I love it and I love it too. I love and that I, you picked records that are very sentimental to your parents. Yeah. So you pick records that have connection to your parents. Yeah. That's very sweet. Yeah. And yeah. Ash often acts in her pictures and, and yeah. puts herself in <laughs> her art, work of art. Yeah. So I'm going to bring up this picture because I love this picture. This is me and my daddy. I actually have a, I mean, I actually have a good dad that I want to do anything like picture or like whatever I need. Like, can we go out and do things or can I get stuff? And we just want to do it. Excellent. So you're very yeah. sentimental in your photography, which is yeah. very um, amazing to see. Yeah. And you got him involved in your fashion color theory. Yeah. So you dressed him this day, didn't you? And you guys wore matching outfits. Yeah. In the same. So if you look closely, they're all wearing the same color palette of blues and lilacs and purples, yeah. different shades. And together they work really well. And then you also said you wanted a beautiful staircase in your home um, photograph. Yeah. So well done. Very interesting. I love it a lot. Excellent. And it's the hero angle that you're looking yeah. up at you guys, who are the heroes. And then we have this one. Tell us about this one. It's not in New Jersey, but a lot. <laughs> but I was able to take that picture. Beautiful. The snow is so nice coming down. I like watching it, but I don't like walking on it. <laughs> yes, I think that's how everyone feels, though, Asha. <laughs> 
snow is so beautiful to look at but really hard to walk through um and I love again that we get a snippet of your life and you know your view out the window and who in class encourages you to photograph the snow this area you do and I do and someone else does as well one of your classmates tells you to take pictures of the snow do you oh, remember Oriana who? Too. yeah Oriana does as well <laughs> so they encourage each yeah. other which is Thanks, really Oriana. sweet <laughs> And this is my color theory with the yes. with the food, and that was really good because like the gold, red, and oh like, like red is so pretty. Yes. It's on a fairy. You did this one as well with the colors. There was yeah. more colors in this one. Yeah. yeah. So Ash likes to do um documentary style images of her life. And food is a big part of that, isn't it? So when we had the food photography assignment, you are looking to add to what you already take. And this time she commented on the colors that were on her plate. So well done, Ash, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> and there's this one as well. Like a strategy out there. Yes. And and yeah, it's amazing. The moon looks like the sun. Yes. So that's why it's such an amazing shot. The moon is so bright here. It could be, it reminds you of the sun, right? Yes. And again, we get the New Jersey landscape as well. It's very Thank atmospheric. Thank you. And that was your last image. So can Thank everyone you. clap for Thank Ashley? You. Congratulations, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Up next, we have Cameron. So again, um, here is a headshot of Cameron um, and a little bit of a bio about her as well. And I will invite her to start talking about her work. So your first image, Cameron, is this one. Welcome. Hi. So um, this is a picture for um, our, our as, um, astronomy photography. Um, I had to go... Um, to it, we had to drive to a place where there was no light, no city lights. So we had to go for a little ride and go and um, where there was no light. Excellent. So you always made the effort to drive somewhere away from what we call light pollution. Yeah. So that can um, prevent you from seeing the stars. And if you look through Cameron's album, she also has many more amazing astronomy photographs. Um, but this one was so nice because the clouds look really beautiful here as well. Mm -hmm. So well done, Cameron. Thank you. This one was um, me and my mom went to the our outdoor mall we have here. And I saw this bird in this little <laughs> fountain and it decided to um, go under the water to cool off because it's really hot here. I love it. It tells us about where you live because you can also mm -hmm. see the kind of the plants in the background. They're normally yeah. in hot weather areas and then mm -hmm. the bird is so hot it has to dunk its head in the water. Yes. It's a great, great action shot, Cameron. Well yes, done. Thank you. This one was of a little turtle that me and um, that my mom saw um, um, at her school. We saw this little baby turtle and so we took a photo of it and it kind of blended in with the rocks. That's what I love about it. It can, it makes you look <laughs> twice because it can camouflage really well. And yeah. great job in spotting it as well. Yes, thank you. And this one was for my group color theory. It's my brother and my, um, our friend, our family friend who's like, who's like a brother. And so, yeah, I had them both. Um, I had um, my friend wear a light shirt and my brother wear a dark shirt to kind of. Um, Excellent. Yeah. So you learn about um, contrasting colors. So using light, light colors and dark colors can create this visual contrast. And um, you had the task of doing more than one model, which they hadn't been set yet before. And I also love the pose because they're mimic mimicking each other in the pose. It's a great, great yeah. job, Cameron. Thank you. I think there's a second one of them here yep. as well. Yes, there is. Um, good framing on this one. Thank you. 
And this one was for our um, our food photography assignment. I went to Phoenix with my, um, who's like a big sister to me. And we went to get these milkshakes in Phoenix. And um, I thought it would be a cool photo to put into um, for food photography. Yeah. Didn't you say it was like a milkshake that had a cheesecake on top of it? Yes. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> yes, it was. Same here. Yes, I've yes, never it. heard of a milkshake with cheesecake on top. So that's yeah, so cool. <laughs> yeah, neither did we. And they had like, um, you could also get one with like a brownie on top with like different foods on top of it. And oh, nice. No. decided to get the cheesecake. And I, I never seen any milkshake with a cheesecake on top. So give me that's some. Awesome. <laughs> and we have a, a lot of food envy in our class um I love the the fact that your shirt the label on the on the cup of the name of the place called the yard and it also like the sauce on top of that they all match so we've got the color theory going on there as well yeah. and we had the students um other students in the class comment about how beautiful that building in the background is so again mm -hmm. we get the aspect and the information of where um, you guys are in the world which is really exciting and fun to see yeah. lovely well done thank you and then this one was um I kind of I went outside and my mom has this rose bush and this I saw this beautiful rose so I decided to take a picture of it it's and it's almost like a stunning. color theory yes yeah. yeah well I love the colors of course but you are shooting it from such a great angle that the top of the rose is always flat with the, the lens of the camera. So this is a bird's eye angle. Mm -hmm. And it really lets us see the detail of all the petals in the rose, which we normally might not see. So excellent framing there, well done. Thank you. Yes. And this is another pretty um, flower that my mom has in the backyard. And I just thought this looked really pretty with the little, like, the little table stand it's on. I thought it looked really pretty. Excellent. Well done. And yes, the, I can see the color theory coming in here. So pink and green go really well together. Yeah. Um, and all the textures of the table and the wall and the floor as well. It looks really good together. So well done. Thank you. And that was your last image. So can we all clap for Cameron, please? Congratulations, yeah. Cameron. Well done. Thank I'm really you. proud of you. Good job. Thank Great you. Job. Great job. Okay. Any questions? So no, we're not finished yet, guys. <laughs> so up next, we have actually a new member of our class. We have Olivia. Olivia joined just this session. Um, and again, just like everyone else, you can see a headshot of the person and also their um, bio. So Olivia is from Florida and she loves to take pictures of her birds and watch the birds in her garden in her bird feeder. And she would love to see more wildlife and visit Canada one day. So can I just see where Olivia is? Olivia, are you there? And are you ready? Let me see. Oh, you are there, excellent. Olivia, would you like to speak about your images? Yeah, yeah go ahead. This excellent. is the color theory where I did the orange and blue because they're all the set color. And excellent. then did the, the Excellent. Blue, both the orange and the orange, both the blue for the contrast and the color. Yes, excellent. So Olivia's framing is fantastic here. And her eye, I don't know if you guys can tell, but she has a great eye. And what she means about opposite colors is when you look at the color wheel, um, color theory is the science of colors and there's something called a color wheel. And if you pick opposite colors on the color wheel, they will create this amazing um, sensation for the eyes where your eye is automatically drawn to it. And so Olivia picked props and clothing um, that match so well in color and opposing colors and even the composition and everything is fantastic. So I really, I love it, Olivia, and I'd love to see, I can't wait to see more work from you. So well done. The next picture. Go ahead and tell us about this one. This is a blue jay. And that blue jay's in my yard and it's on the ground eating the bird seeds off the ground. 
Excellent. I think we were excited about this picture because I've never seen a blue jay. I'm not sure if they're, I don't know. I have to look I it up. Blue not... jays. Yeah, I've never seen one. Aren't they great? It's such a great shot. And especially because birds scare off quite easily. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. true. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, see sometimes I've seen one, sometimes I saw a cardinal too, sometimes. <laughs> oh, jeez. I use my. I see blue jays in Florida, water and cardinals. I see cardinals sometimes, and I see them lots often in blue jays. And I haven't seen one of the cardinal in my yard in a while. But the last recent time I saw a cardinal, I saw a cardinal at the park. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love learning about all your local wildlife. And then tell us about the story of how you took this picture where you had to go. This is a white ibis and I took it at the park and it's a park in Palm Beach, Florida, a few minutes from my house. Excellent. It's a great shot. It's a beautiful bird with the long legs and the beak. And I love that you went out of your home to try and capture some nature as well. Great shot. Oh, I love this one. Go ahead and tell us about this one. And this is dinner I ate that I took for the photography assignment and the fight of the peacock. And I had the peacock show in the picture. Excellent, excellent. I love the composition. I love that you chose this beautiful plate and that you chose to show off the peacock and the decoration of the plate. Even the um, the vegetable, it highlights the green and blue colours in the plate that already exist. So the class is very excited about this picture as well. <laughs> well, well done, Olivia. I love it. Then you have this one. Tell us a little about this one. This is the music photography assignment where I took a picture of two records of two different album cars and they both have the space and galaxy theme on their covers. Yes. Excellent, e ex excellent. You have a great eye. So again, two different records. Um, this is for music photography homework. And Olivia just picked, she sensed this theme between the album covers, but also the colors and the graphics work really well together. So well done. And then this one as well. Tell us about this one. And that's the squirrel at the park. At that park, I go to and pop and a few minutes away from my house. Excellent. I love that the squirrel looks like he's looking down the lens at you. <laughs> he's like looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he's just on the edge of the tree there, guys. Lovely. Oh, yeah, it's like a kind of flash to me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> And then you sent me this one as well, Olivia. Tell us about this one. That's a parrot I saw in Butterfly World in Coconut Creek, Florida. Excellent. Wow. I love how beautiful the colours are and the lovely green plush background as well. And then you sent me this one as well. Tell us about this one. And that's a Seagull, I saw at the beach in Florida. Awesome. Again, gives us a sense of where you are in the world with that lovely sand. We don't have that here. <laughs> okay, and then you have this one as well, Olivia. And that's a picture of a chicken I saw in Trade One Park, and it's in Coconut Creek, Florida, near Butterfly World across. Oh. From oh. oh wow, there's so many great places to visit and where that you live. Side of Trade One Park has a side with the farm where there's lots of birds and other animals. And Trade One Park has two sides where it has one at Excellent. One side with, with a playground and a lot of trees, <laughs> and another side with the storm and animals. And they're okay. I sometimes see peacocks at that side, and I always see chickens at that uh, side. Wow, sounds like a great place to visit. I love the composition that 
it's kind of like a side profile um, portrait shot, it's similar to how you would photograph people. And that's what I love about this picture. It gives the essence of character and a kind of personality to the, to, to the um, bird. And then that was your last picture. So everybody, please join me to clap for Olivia. Clap well Olivia. done, Olivia. Yay, Olivia. Yay, Olivia. <laughs> so proud of you. That was Olivia's first exhibition and presentation yeah. as well. And I just can't wait to see more from you, Olivia. You're a great photographer. Hi, Mercedes. Okay, so up next is someone called Natalie. Natalie is actually at school at the moment, which we wholeheartedly support. Um, she has actually done a great job this session balancing coming to this class and also going and attending school. So she, if she ever misses bits of class, she will watch back the recording and she always asks everybody, including myself and her classmates, for the homework assignment and she always hands everything in. So I'm really, really proud of her. Um, so to show off her work today, Victoria has volunteered to speak about um, Natalie's pictures for us. So I'm going to hand over to Victoria. So, hello everyone. So today I am I am um, talking about Natalie's pictures today. Excellent. And I also want to give a shout out to my high school teacher, Miss Megan Turner, and my bestie Hannah Hannah <laughs> Hannah Thompson. They're tuning in, They're tuning in today. Okay. So, the first picture that she kept that she captured was this beautiful picture that she was in Disneyland and I really like how she captured it because I like all the color theory and on the on the on the castle and I like how she took it and I also like the clouds and this is a picture that she took of her dog and I like how she took this picture because her her dog looks so looks so happy and he's just looking at the camera. Cutie. And here's another picture that she took of her dog. And I like how the dog's happy and I like how her I like how her tongue's sticking out because he's because it looks like it looks like he wants a dog treat. <laughs> <laughs> and I like this picture because I like how she took the the picture on her camera and I like how she got her picture of her dog on her Polaroid and I like the two pictures that she that she took on this on this on this picture and here's a picture of her of her of her food photography that she took and I like how the smoke's coming out coming up from the from the meat I like the steam And here's another, here's another picture that she took of her meat. And it looks really cool because I like, I like, I like her meat and I want some of her meat. <laughs> <laughs> and she took another picture of her meat on the, on the grill. Excellent. And here's another Polaroid picture and the, uh, and her big camera that she took. And here's another picture of her dog on the Polaroid picture that she captured. And Excellent. So before we clap, I just wanted to give some feedback because Natalie will be watching this back. So Natalie, I just want to say congratulations on finishing this course. Your photos are amazing. Natalie actually wants to be a photographer when she's older and she wants to travel and do travel photography. Um, I absolutely loved her images. The images of the barbecue she actually edited in post-production. So she took an app and she edited the picture afterwards. She also... Um, took Polaroid pictures of her own idea. So I didn't um, instigate that. She just said, I'm gonna take some Polaroids. So it shows the amount of commitment and variety that she's willing to put into her photography work. And they were great shots and I'm really looking forward to seeing more from her. So let's all clap for Natalie, guys. Well done, <laughs> Natalie. 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 Woo Natalie. Woo Woo so congratulations, everybody. I'm really proud great. of you. And um, at this point, does anyone want to ask any questions for any yeah. of our students? Does it's fine. Any, um, maybe Amy and Shawnee can help me pick people from the audience. Um, if anyone has, or maybe there are some questions in the chat. <laughs> it's in a chat. 
Awesome. I know Tom had a question for Oriana asking how she got the picture of the bird's nest. How did she get that picture? Well, the, well, the, the man was working in the back on the other oh, side. Go ahead, Amy. Oh no, I was going to say someone was working in your um, in your yard. Yes. And they they found and then you went outside and found it. Didn't I you? didn't went outside. My mom did. Oh, okay, she called you out, didn't she? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. I think my mom can't explain it, but she's in her room. That's okay. That's okay. You did a great explanation. And how did you feel seeing that? Because you said you'd probably never see that again. Mm -mm. How were you happy when you saw it? Yes. Yeah. It's pretty special, isn't it? How's is it hot? It's hot outside. It's cooler now. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Well done. Any, any, any other questions in the chat? Let's see. I have a question. So I know yeah, in the baby. last exhibit, we had um, some special people who don donated the camera, the disposable cameras. Um, yeah. How was your experience using those cameras versus what you've typically used? Well, I, I, I experienced how different it was from, from now to the 2000s, how everything was not, not tech, like not, 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 not technical, but a lot of difference because back then it was so different from now today. So what did you experience? Yeah, life? and we've been using so it. The pitch, so, the pitch, so the picture, how I took it, it was really cool because I got to see how a disposable camera worked and it was really neat and it was really, and it was really different. And I liked it. <laughs> and I want to go. I want to go. And using it because I, I get the baby. It's only one good hand learning how to use it so easy. Like a thousand be difficult, but I got a hand. Excellent. Yeah. So some of you guys are still working on the film, aren't you? But it's a very different experience, mm -hmm. isn't it? Because you can't see your picture straight away and you yeah. have to you have to be patient. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna get some of those big pictures sharing because like I'm trying, trying, but I what is it? all the all the the all the film yet. Yeah, I did it too. I took some pictures to hack uh, how many times. So, well, I've not, never seen this long time. So, she's That's never okay. seen it. So, oh, your mom hasn't seen it. No, it's okay. You can take your time with it. <laughs> yeah, I had to take some more pictures again. So, yeah, excited to see them. And I think Oriana has her hand up first. Oh, and you can no, Victoria has it first. Oh, okay, Victoria, would you like and, to see? And and another and 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 another different and and, and another different um different what different about a disposable camera is when you took the picture you couldn't you couldn't see what your pictures came out to be like, and that was another that was another different part about a disposable camera. Mm -hmm. that, how that did you feel see. when you when when you got the pictures home? How did you feel? How did it I feel? Know. I felt really cool because I actually got to see what my pictures looked like in person than on my camera. Awesome. Was it kind of it like opening, opening up a gift? Yes, it was. <laughs> but definitely so. Excellent. Well done. And then Oriana had her hand up. Go ahead, Oriana. Yeah, we, 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 use, we have been using this rosewood cameras for years. Oh, nice. So you're experienced at using them. Yes. Excellent. And it's fun. Oh, yes. Excellent. I can't wait to see your pictures, Oriana. Oh, how are you doing well in Florida, Sharon? Sharon's going to the F1 race this week. Oh, wow. Sharon, we can't hear you. What, what did she say? I, not this week. At May 9th. So oh. it's, and I'll take some cool car photos for you, Oriana. <laughs> Hi, Mercedes. Mercedes. Excellent. Does anyone have any more questions or, or even any feedback for the young people? I, so was... I just want to remind everyone that it would be great if you guys could go on the website and leave some feedback so that the young people can keep that feedback that you've written down for them. 
And thank you all for attending today. How we come we come back again. Are you ready for hurricane season in Florida, Mercedes? Oh. Always ready. My favorite season. Oh God, that's scary. My it isn't favorite. in chat, by the way. I have a question for um, all of the <laughs> photographers. I wanted to, first of all, I just wanted to tell each of you that to see your growth in the pictures has been amazing. I'm like your number one fan of all of you. I, I just love your photography. <laughs> But I wanted to ask each of the photographers from this session, what was your favorite style of photography that you learned from Miss Sam? So my favorite, my favorite style that I learned from Miss Sam was the fashion photography and the color theory. Awesome. Thank you, Victoria. Ash has her hand up. Go ahead, Ash. Yes, Victoria, the second one that you said, like the color theory has been a lot in the like in the past, so I really liked it. I love doing it. Excellent. So Excellent. Thank you, Ash. As, Ash actually as well, taste food a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does love food photography as well. I love color to, theory. So, <laughs> yeah. I want to do a lot of fashion. Really, I used to draw fashion in my scrapbooking all the time. So I just love it. I love the color theory, blocking color. That's my favorite thing. Excellent. So you've mentioned some color blocking there. Everybody loves fashion in this class. That's my yes. friend Emily. Yes, um, go ahead, Cameron. <laughs> I liked food and the wildlife. Oh, awesome. That's good to know. Yeah. Oh, Congratulations. You all did such an interesting job. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> and Thank Oriana, you. what did you say then? I said you liked I food. Wait, like food, color. Yes. As the Astronomy. Yep. Why, why, you have, nature? You like cars. all the subjects. <laughs> cars. You like cars. Yes. Excellent. What do you like, Amy? Who, me? Should, we should have Amy. Oh, Take Amy. I, I always <laughs> like pictures of food. I <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> pictures of food. <laughs> Amy also likes pictures of K-pop bands. Oh, yes. That's yeah. it. Oh, okay, yeah. me too. <laughs> uh, what? what did you say? K-pop bands. Oh, I know yeah. that. I know about BTS. <laughs> oh, Ash, Ash loves <laughs> BTS. Yeah, uh, yeah. Same yeah. here. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. So I, I took some photography classes when I was younger, and then I ended up being a painter. So I was, and I know that sometimes the disciplines cross. So I yes. was just wondering, are any of you also interested in painting? Yes. I do. Do you like pop art? Emily and Oriana? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, Emily. Do you want to answer? Mm -hmm. uh, painting gives me confident in fun pop art. I love it. I did a few times, so I didn't for myself. But I've been fun. Excellent. Fun. So yeah, and Cameron had her hand off as well. Do you want to go next? Yeah, I love um I love painting as well. I've um I really enjoy the, I enjoy it, and I also enjoy like coloring too. I like to color, but I like drawing. Yeah, I would say this whole class is very creative. So I know Kelsey likes to write songs and sing. She also does drawing, and Victoria creates other things like textile garments she draws mm -hmm. a lot she draws a lot of fashion mm -hmm. sketches and, and makes ash, jewelry too yes ash yeah. likes to draw and color as well yes, and i, I actually said everybody everybody oh uh, some of you were here when we did this but we uh, printed out the color wheel and everybody colors it in and people were amazing. you guys were so enthusiastic i was you know i was blown away by it it was amazing yeah, so. it's like, oh, all right. and, 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 She's, she'll be back. Angela will be back. It's Angela here? Yeah. She's here. Like, I'm here. I'm okay, here. Hi, I, Angela. So. I'm I, Angela. I, oh, hi, guys. I miss oh, you God. all. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Oh, amazing, you guys. Angela, what's up, girl? We miss George. George. We miss Angela, I miss you guys. Yes. yes. I'm going to do my best to join next Be class. Try to miss come back. George, Angela. <laughs> Yes, I miss you guys. I'm so proud of you all. Oh, no, I miss you. And 
And oh, Victoria, yeah. I was in tears when you said that you you actually got a gig. I'm I'm so proud of you. I'm oh, so thank excited. You, it's amazing. <laughs> thank you. I'm excited too. <laughs> Yay. Yay. We miss you, Angela. And I got right, a bracelet. I'll see you guys. We miss George. Nice bracelet, Kelsey. Oh, lovely I bracelet. Made it. Oh, oh you made cool. it? Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. You guys are so creative. Uh, I made it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Awesome. Beautiful. Excellent. Good job. I made in a unicorn foundation. Awesome. Oh, pretty. Yes, Kelsey and I uh, made a lot of bracelets for our guest at the gala. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How's, how's Kelsey the gala? Kelsey got to keep hers. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, um, the gala. I made it. <laughs> Kelsey, are you coming tonight to the center? Yeah. Yay. Oh, awesome. We'll see you then. Oh, awesome. yay. I wish yay. I could go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wish well. Emily can come too, really. I know, Kels. Well, I can't go. Sorry, I can't okay. go. I can't go back to Florida again, okay? Yes. Absolutely. We'd love to see you. I'll be there in three weeks. So. Oh, wow. Oh. I well, don't know what day or what month. I don't know yet. So we still think about it to work out. Yeah. We That'd be great to meet you, you Emily. The, the center. All right, everyone. Well done. Good Thanks, job. Thanks, Angela. Bye. We miss you. We miss you. Miss Aww. George. Do you miss George as well? Here's my smile. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, are we taking a picture? I was. I missed that. I thought we were taking what a time? picture, sorry. Do you, want, do you want to do it now before we go? Do you want to do it? We can. You oh, do it. Well, I asked Amy to do it because she's got a bigger screen. <laughs> you want to do a normal one? Do you want to do a normal one? Oh, we're going to do Yeah. Should we take a picture? If anybody wants to be in the picture, you can leave your camera on and Miss <laughs> Amy will take a group photo of us. <laughs> Wait, are you ready, Amy? Are we going to do funny face or are we smiling? Just joking. <laughs> let's, do a, let's do smiling and then we can do a silly face. Oh, okay. Ariana, let's do a smile first and then we can do the silly one later. Okay. Ready? Okay. One. Three. Oh, yeah. You one, count down. Two. It. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> All right. Awesome. And do you want to, Ariana likes a silly face one. So let's do a silly face one. Ready? This is for Kerry. <laughs> it's for Kerry. Okay. Ready, guys? One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, that was lovely. Um, so I don't always, know always, I always do it. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If there's no more questions, we can close off the session. That. Oh, Ariana has her hand up. Go ahead, Ariana. What we, what we, what are you going to do, Samaya? What am I going to do? Yes. What are you going? Do you to, like, go, are you going to travel to the building? Because you like am tours. I, am I going to travel in the future? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the in the future, I hope to travel again. Yes, yeah, I would love to. And yeah, I think Maybe. I'd love to um, grow our class and get some in-person exhibitions going. Um, I think we should start working on that right away uh, in next session, actually. Next week, we can begin. I'm really excited. We can just use the time that we have in class. Everybody's part of this journey. Everybody's ready, I think. And we can exhibit the pictures that you've already taken, but we can also work on um, some messages that you might want to tell people. And together, we can create this group show that we can um, uh, I hope to exhibit it in London. I think it will be absolutely possible. Okay. And then we can also try and tour it around the USA where you guys live. So we'll see, we'll work it out because, um, you know, we have time. So let's, it's exciting, yeah. guys. So those were the announcements. Everywhere. Yeah, and Victoria, <laughs> it's really exciting that you've got this gig that you booked yourself. You introduce yourself mm -hmm. as a photographer and everybody else, like not everybody has to become a photographer, mm -hmm. but through, through this experience, you will get that professional experience, whether or not you want to use it in pursuing photography or other professional things in your future. So it's exciting times and you're all amazing photographers. I'm really, really proud of you all. And it is an absolute joy to be your teacher. 
honestly, I'm, I'm very privileged to be your teacher and um, teaching you does not feel like work. It just feels like a privilege and a joy. So we should, well done. We should have Mercedes come back again. <laughs> No. <laughs> I want to thank Miss Sam. Who thinks she is the best teacher that you've had? She's a beautiful woman. She, oh. she, she's the best. I love Miss Sam. She, she is she's the best. best. She's my favorite. Yeah. Can, can we give her a hand? Can yeah, we'll give her a hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're making me cry. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to cry. But, um, it's all right. that's, that's oh thank you you're very sweet you're all very kind and this is a very caring yes, class you're all, very, girl. <laughs> you're all very compassionate and supportive of each other and I love that about your class dynamic um you're so yeah it's a very special thing to be a part of and thank so, you Sha thank you Amy thank you thank exactly Shani's coming here for the first time yes oh Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I love you guys. <laughs> Can't wait to see what you do in the next class. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your name, Samaya. The unicorn team is so big now um, compared to when I started <laughs> teaching. So you've doubled in size. I may not know everyone very well, but I know that unicorn has a great um, energy. Actually, me and um, yes. Victoria's mom, we we had a chat the other day and we were saying like oh, we've never you. we've never found a charity like this before like everyone is so amazing just kidding like, I don't I don't know if you want to say a bit about it Jennifer yeah I always it? speak very kindly of the <laughs> Horn Children's Foundation you know to anyone that I talk to and I always encourage them to let them know that there's so many programs on there for for anyone but I feel like it's just so genuine yeah. um, I have been in communication with a lot of organizations since Victoria was younger, but I feel like this organization is very genuine to giving to the individual student to help their creativity, to help their independence, and just to give them opportunities to experience classes that they might not have access to otherwise. And it's so amazing because it's on the computer <laughs> and they are connecting friendships through different states. And I just, I can't say enough about it because it's just, it's so amazing. And I just, I love it because Victoria has really, really shined and it's given her this boost of confidence. And it's been a true God sent blessing during the pandemic because this program has helped her so much having outlets, you know, and making friendships through the computer. So I, I'm a huge advocate. I love it. Uh, thank you to all the donors and thank you to each and every individual <laughs> who puts in your time and dedication because from a parent's perspective, this is amazing. So I can never say enough. <laughs> awesome. Oh, now I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, we're oh, to be able to offer it's this. All right. Especially during the pandemic, um, we all got to experience the social isolation. So it's been a pleasure watching each and every one of you grow. And we're looking, you know, we've grown our, our team here so that we can grow and add more programs and give everybody more opportunities to connect, grow and learn. So congratulations to everybody. And Thank we you. really look forward to the next one. We overcome it. Sharon. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So with that, should we close out the session, guys? Thank you all for being I'll here. Be thank, thank you all for presenting. And I can't wait to see you at the next one. And I can't wait to see you all grow. And thank you to Unicorn and all the <laughs> lovely students and parents. And yeah, everyone's doing hearts. Let's do hearts. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's been a joy. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.